Welcome to the artificially intelligent world. You know, we all are driven by AI, the chat GPT of the world. Everything is governed by an AI. And today we have the two very, very intelligent, which is artificially governed phones in our hand. The Google Pixel 9 XL Pro and the Samsung Z Fold 6. Samsung comes with the Galaxy AI and the Google Pixel comes with the Pixel AI. They both can do a lot of things and make your life very easier. But AI is not really come to a level which is going to make your job very easy. For example, if I look at the smartphone and if I can sense what I want to do, I want to watch a video, I want to watch a music, or I want to make a phone call. Till that time, the artificial intelligence is not really intelligent. But until that time, we are okay with what we're doing. But till that time, it can do a lot of other things. For example, Samsung can live record your audio conversation and summarize it over text and you can send that over mail or WhatsApp or whatever. I travel a lot internationally and when I've done that I've used the language life transition and it really works very helpful because you know when you are in another country people don't speak your language so life becomes very difficult I've also done restaurant booking calls and the other side has understood the language what they want to hear and I've understood what I want to hear now that's something very cool very very useful Google on the other hand also is very good you know of the group shot picture that you can do that's something which is very very interesting but I think that if you're three people and if the third person not there, why do you want to take that group shot? That's me. However, you can do that in case you want to stitch them all together. So let's dive deep and understand which is the one that is good for you, which is the AI smartphone that you should buy because these two, ladies and gentlemen, is the top of the line AI smartphones available in the market today. For example, removing, relocating object or resizing the object can be done both on Pixel AI and Galaxy AI. Galaxy AI, however, does the job well in terms of cropping the images or resizing them. Text sketches to image. Samsung has a feature where sketching on an image can create a very accurate image of the picture you draw on the Pixel. Pixel 9 Pro has to reimagine the feature where we can type what we need. Pixel 9 Pro XL also has a Pixel Studio where you can type what you want and the Pixel Studio will generate an image you want. How cool is that? Now let's talk about the Call Assist. The Call Assist feature is really an impressive feature on the Samsung Galaxy. It can live, translate and even text call. On the other hand, Google did showcase them at the event, but it's still not available on the Pixel 9 series yet. It's coming soon. Till then, Samsung is the winner. Both have the ability to record audio and transcribe it. But Samsung has a summary feature, which intelligently gets it summarized for you. Pixel doesn't have it right now, but maybe we can see it in the future. Now let's talk about some extras. Pixel does have some extra AI features which make this device interesting and helpful. There's an exclusive screenshot app for Pixel devices that can categorize into proper format, but also extract content from the screenshot. Inside the weather app, it can summarize the weather for you, making it simple to understand what will happen today. Now, how do I summarize this? Example, if you want a form factor which is full, then the conversation ends there over to Samsung. But if you want something which is more robust, more user-friendly, then the Google Pixel is also very good. Now, Google Pixel AI will actually come in every other Android device because it's a Google device, it's free for all. But Samsung has some inbuilt features and capabilities which will not come in the Google device. So in that sense, Samsung actually weighs more in terms of usage, in terms of AI, in terms of form factor, in terms of practicality. It's also more mature because it was launched in January and so far, it's it, we know what it is to live with it and we've had no problems whatsoever. Pixel, on the other hand, has still to perform, it's still to prove itself. So I will rest my case and buy the Samsung Z Fold 6. You drop in the comments, which one do you think? Pixel 9 XL Pro also is cool. I like the way it's designed, I like the way it's no nonsensical. And the group shot actually gets onto you. Drop in the comments, what do you think? And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.